With cases, you can design your own turbine and compressor blades, and fully customize them. You can vary your own radial functions for design studies and optimizations. In this video, we give you a brief overview about the design process and cases when it comes to turbine blades. This example blade model is included in the software. This is the design process overview. We start with the 2D contours of the engine. The hub and shroud curves need to be designed in the ZX system of cases. In this example, the two contours have been modeled with B-spline curves. Any kind of curve definition is possible, such as mathematical expressions, simple point data interpolation, or a smooth spline. The stacking axis is also a 3D curve that runs in between the stream. In this model, the axis is a simple line that is connected to surface curves on the hub and shroud. By changing the start and end position of the axis, one can easily vary this curve. The 2D profile is also completely designed and parameterized in cases. It is encapsulated in a feature definition. Please see also our other videos that introduce these feature definitions. In the first stage, this profile had been designed and tested with some typical input parameter values. You can use all curve types of cases to create your own definition. The resulting design can be visualized in the 3D view by creating a feature of this definition with some exemplary input. The curve with the name profile flip will be the final curve that is used for blade generation later on. How is the 2D profile mapped into the 3D space? For this purpose, we can use the stream section curve type. It needs the 2D profile, as well as the 3D hub and shroud contours, and the stacking axis. With this information, the 2D profile can be mapped onto a stream surface at a specific radius. With this interactive stream section test, for example for hub and shroud as shown here, you can check whether your profile is correctly mapped into 3D space. This has been a simple check. For surface generation, we use an encapsulated version of the 3D stream section curve. More detailed, the stream section from the last step had been put into a feature definition. Again, the final 3D curve is checked before using it for surface generation. This is what you see here. The feature definition now contains the 2D profile definition plus the 3D stream section curve, which will then be used for surface generation. The 2D profile is also encapsulated in a feature definition that is used in here. We call this a nested feature definition. Once again, this is the 2D definition with all its parameters. It gets created, and is used in here. The stream section gets also created, taking into account the stream the 2D profile, the stacking axis, and a radius. The 2D profile parameters can be constant along the stacking axis, but they can also be controlled by a radial function for each parameter. The functions are simple curves that you can create and for example control with design variables. In cases, these curves need to be given in the XY space. For each of your profile parameters, 
the change in radial direction can be controlled by such a curve. Changing them automatically is what you can do in design studies and optimizations. Let's continue with our last step, the blade surface generation. The surface is generated based on a flexible technique that is called meta surface. Input of a meta surface is a curve engine. This curve engine connects the 3D curve, in our case the stream section, with the radial functions. This is the link to the 3D section definition. The radial functions are connected here. The meta surface simply takes this engine as input and creates the corresponding 3D shape. Cases comes with tutorials about meta surfaces. Please check them out for more information. The fillet surface between hub and blade can be easily generated by means of the so-called B-rep types.